In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use this image to create this one. If you're new to my channel, I upload a lot of tutorials on Photoshop. So don't forget to subscribe and enable that ring bell notification so you don't miss any new videos. And if you didn't know yet, all the files that I use are in the description down below. So you can just follow up and to download all these images. All right, this is the size I will be working in. This is widescreen size. So just use these settings and resolution doesn't matter here. And let's start up from here. I already removed the background from, from Ray here. And the only thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna work on the foreground. So what I'm gonna do with the background is I'm gonna use this one. And it doesn't matter because I'm gonna blur this out anyway. I think it's just a cool background. So let's select this and press Ctrl A to select it all and Ctrl C or Command C to copy it. After that, press Ctrl Command V. And now we wanna press right mouse and convert to smart object. All right, now you wanna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and let's blur this out. I just wanna see a little bit of it, not much like that so we have all our focus on ray here and we can work on stuff around her so this is fine and let's just press ok here and now we can me make her even bigger so i'm gonna press ctrl t and while holding our alt i'm just making her bigger like that maybe even bigger like this all right let's create a new layer on top of her go to the brushes here and now you want to go all the way up and I'm gonna use fog brushes. I will link all these brushes in the video here so you can download these. I will also link this in the description so you can find these easily. And these are all free brushes so you can just use them all. So anyways, let's just select some brush here and I wanna select something bluish like this lightsaber reflecting like light blue or something. So pick some color like this for instance, press okay and Let's start off with making fog around her. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just we're gonna press a couple of times around her to make this like some mysterious effect around her. Like she's standing in between fog, and we can just select different types of fog so we don't see the same fog around her. Just select a couple of times of fog around her, and that's okay. All right, I have this rock here, so I'm gonna select it. Control A and Ctrl C to copy it or Command C if you're on Mac and let's put this here I'm not gonna use this rock I just wanna use something to blur it out so I'm gonna create a smart object here and go to filter blur Gaussian blur I just wanna use something in the foreground to blur it out so it doesn't really matter what you use but I'm just gonna use this rock so I'm gonna really gonna blur this out so you won't even notice that it was a rock so something like this and only thing I have to do here is just make it blue like the surrounding around it like this fog so while pressing this layer I'm gonna go to adjustment layer and select hue and saturation now you wanna press this so we only affect this layer underneath it and now just move this around until you find something bluish so something like this and you can also increase the situation so it's really blue or if you want something less blue just play around with the settings so this is fine and i'm just gonna move this around until i find a nice place for it i don't want to have too much just a little bit of blur here so it creates this nice depth in this image let's put this in the folder and i'm just gonna press ctrl j or command j to duplicate this and move this around to another place now I'm gonna just rotate this so it doesn't look the same. Just find a nice spot to add some blur to this image. Because when you have some blur, it creates some depth in this image and that's exactly what I want. All right, so this is fine. And now I wanna create some glow from this lightsaber here. So what I'm gonna do now is create a new layer. Pick something blue, like really light blue, something like this again. And now you want to use a normal brush. So if you go here to the brushes, just pick the first one, general soft round brush, make it smaller. And 
this time I'm just gonna make like this little dot and change the blending mode to screen and now I can move this around and place it somewhere here so I'm gonna press ctrl T to resize this and just hold down alt so it stays in the center where you're resizing but this is a nice glow that I have now and I'm just gonna duplicate this so I'm gonna select this layer press ctrl command J so it duplicates and now we can change this to overlay so this we have some nice reflections from it and I can move this a little bit to the right so it affects her you can even move it up if you want but I don't want to ruin the face too much so it's gonna look like this but it's a little too much so I'm gonna drop here opacity and now if you want more glow just duplicate this first layer you can press ctrl J or drag it to this icon here and now press ctrl T to resize this hold on shift and just dr drag it like that and I'll just hold on shift and alt and make it smaller so we can have this whole lightsaber glowing let's make this really small thin whatever all right that looks good and now I want to create some more mist around her so I'm gonna create a new layer on top of her and let's create some more mist here so I'm gonna go back to this mist mist brushes and this time I'm gonna use a little bit different color so maybe dark blue see how that looks so let's put some mist here let's do some maybe some lighter parts here because we have light background so I don't wanna wanna have dark mist here I wanna have light mist maybe even almost white like that all right let's do some curves here because she doesn't match with the background so good yet so i want to create some mist uh, some curves here to get the colors right and the lighting so i'm gonna create a curves layer on top of all the other layers here and now i can just play around with this let's make this dark first so drop the highlights so we get all the highlights darker and let's select the midtones and also drop these and now i want to select a normal brush again so i'm going to go to brushes and all the way up to soft round make sure your opacity and flow is at 100 percent and this time i'm gonna brush parts lighter so as you can see i'm brushing this mask of it so i'm bringing back this this curves layer well actually i'm removing it on these parts because we have light here so i want to have these parts lighter all right it's a little bit too much now so we can either adjust this again or we can drop the opacity here so it will be too much so i think this is fine for now let's brush a little bit more here so just gonna brush we can brush the fog here because this is our light source now and the fog is like lighter so we can brush a little bit the fog here let's leave the dark background a little bit darker just brush some parts to get some nice lighting. Alright, I'm gonna have this part a little bit darker, so I'm gonna check which fog here is oh, that one. I'm gonna remove a little bit here. And also this one. So we have this darker background there. It looks better. All right, let's do some more lighting here. So I'm just gonna go all the way up, create a new layer again. And this time I'm gonna bring up the opacity and flow again. And let's do something blue again. Make sure it's not the eraser, but the brush. Accidentally press the eraser tool here. All right, let's change this to overlay again and I can create some more lights just play around with these settings and just brush a couple of times and see how it looks so I don't want to do it here it just looks weird so I'm just gonna do it here maybe a little bit here it's a little bit too much so I'm gonna drop the opacity 
All right, let's do some hue on her. So I'm gonna select this layer and go to here, hue and saturation, and select this so we only affect this layer underneath it. And let's drop the saturation slightly here. So it matches better with the background because we don't have that much color in the background. All right, let's leave that like that and maybe a little bit, a little bit darker. All right, let's create another curves layer on top of everything. So go to curves here and this time I'm gonna make this really dark. So we have some nice, nice contrast in this image. We can increase this. So we have these highlights really popping out now and let's try to play with the midtones here. So something like this. All right, that is too much, but I think this looks fine. Okay, let's make some more glow in the face from this lightsaber. So I'm just gonna make sure I select her layer and make adjustment layer above her layer. And here I wanna select exposure. Now I wanna press this so only only affect her layer. And let's bring up the exposure. But I don't want it to have it everywhere. I only want it to have it like these parts here around the lightsaber. So I'm gonna press on this mask and Press D on your keyboard so you have white and black here. And just press Ctrl or Command Backspace. So we remove that again. And now you just select the normal brush, soft round brush. Bring the opacity flow up to 100. And let's brush a little bit extra lighting here. Maybe here around the neck. Some clothing here and this arm. Now there's a little extra, extra light effect that you can do when you have some light source around it. All right, I have maybe also here. I have this this image that I'm going to use for particles. So that way we have some like some movements in this image. So I'm just gonna copy this and put it all the way up above all the other layers. And let's make smart object, resize this so it fits the whole image. And after that, I only have to change it to screen. So now I have some movements here, but as you can see, it ruins the image a little bit. So we're gonna press Ctrl L or Command L to bring up the levels. And now you wanna select this one and you wanna press on this image, but not on one of those particles, just around it. So it makes it black like that. And if it's too much or you want more particles, you can just adjust these adjustment layers here. So I don't wanna have it too much, just a little bit like, like this, for instance and press OK. And as you can see, it, it comes in the face, so I don't wanna have that. I'm just gonna make a mask here, select the black brush and get rid of those. So that's better, maybe leave this one. So that's better and now it looks like there's like wind there and stuff flying around. All right, let's add the logo. So if you wanna add the logo, I just found this one and let's see. Just copy this. I'm going to put it somewhere here. So I'm going to put it above all the other layers. Convert smart object. And the only thing I have to do here is change the blending mode to screen. Let's make this smaller. And somewhere there. Somewhere in the background. Right, I want to move these particles a little bit down. So I'm going to make them bigger like that. And you can drop the opacity if you see them too much, but it all depends on what you like best. All right, let's add some blue, more blue to it. So it blends better together. So I'm going to create a new layer on top of everything. And just I'm going to select, I don't know, something bluish. Just select something, something blue like the lightsaber but a little bit more color and pick a normal brush just make this dot and change the blending mode to either overlay or soft light whatever you like and just make it big and place it around the image so now you have some nice blue effects here maybe also duplicate it and somewhere there you can try 
hopefully it also looks nice just a little bit more blue to it like this lightsaber and if it's too much just drop the opacity slightly here right now let's create a vibrance here so we can bring up the colors so if you bring this up it's going to be really colorful and if you bring us down it's going to be less colorful so it really depends on what you like most i think for this image we can remove some colors so it looks better i think this one looks nice so i saved this design as a png file and open this up in the lightroom at one of my presets you can find these presets in the description so you can download these and let's see i'm gonna use one of my preset here to get all this lighting really cool and popping out so use this one and only thing i have to do here is do a little bit of editing in the settings here so i'm gonna drop the exposure here make sure it's like really dark something like this looks really cool but it's actually too dark so i want to make sure some areas are lighter so i'm gonna make like this circle and make sure it's the other way and lighten up some areas it looks a lot better now so that is pretty much it thanks for watching don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one